Hi, this is Kara Cozier, and I, as promised, have a wonderful video here that I want to share with you. I'm going to talk right now with Zen Cryer DeBrook, who is my magical friend, is how I keep referring to her in my life. Uh, she is someone who has absolutely impacted my life in a positive way in a short amount of time. And I think that's really the key for me is it's like it's in a short amount of time that I've been able to know her and connect deeply with her. Um, she has had a massive influence on my daily state of mind, how I live my life, how I run my business, just so many ways about how I connect and live in this world. And I want to introduce her to you so that you have an opportunity to learn a little bit more about how she could amplify your life the way that she has mine. So Zen, hello, and I'm so glad you're here chatting with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I love, anytime I get to be with you, I mean, your energy is so amazing, and it's just great that we get to play together like this. So I'm super happy to be here. Cool. I'm so excited. Today. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I know. So today what we're here to talk about really is something that I created called the Recreating You Game. And it's a game that's played in a private members area and it takes 12 days to play. And it's this short series of videos that you get every single day. But the important part is, is that I created it so that people can actually erase stress in their lives. Not just handle stress better, but erase it. So you want to talk a little bit about, because you played the game, what, now four months ago? What was your, what's your experience been like since you played it? Yeah, so the first time I played it, and I was apprehensive when I first got started. I was a little bit like, what is this? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're a bit like me. You know, you're listening to this right now and you're like, yeah, whatever. I've tried to do some, some games and some coaching programs and all of that. And I failed. You know, I didn't finish them or I, I left them and I, I didn't continue to have the success I had while I was in it. Well, I was that person. I, I've definitely done some programs and I'm like, that was a waste of money. It's here I am back where I started again. And what I found with this is after just a few days of being in it, I actually saw an impact and I reached out to Zen directly. I was like, oh, uh, what is this magic thing you're doing here? This is pretty amazing. And how do I tell more people about it? Because I just learned really just how to find what was important for me to be doing in my life day to day. And I think like as a mom, it's one of the things that I have struggled with in the past as a mom and an entrepreneur, you know, that mom guilt and that stress that comes with, you know, I want to build my business. I want to show up for my team. I want to show up for my, my customers, but how do I show up? And when am I supposed to be doing these things? Like, how do I prioritize what's going on in my day without feeling guilty? And you really showed me, and I think this is one of the biggest impact moments for me, was when you taught me these little tiny digestible nuggets that were like, you know, you call it the truth bomb or the mic drop moment. You're like, oh, it was like a daily mic drop for 12 days. And you know, I'm dropping the mic over here. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't have to feel guilt. I don't have to feel stress or I don't have to interpret it the way I interpreted it before. And I think that was a big aha moment for me. And it's been, it's been ongoing. Like it hasn't stopped, like you said, four months ago and it's still, the ripple effect is still there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the, I think the key thing is I, I myself has done, have done a lot of different programs, have this great four day live event weekend. And then I get back and I'm so excited about trying something new and I, and I feel like I've got it. And then by Wednesday, I'm the same person doing the same thing and I've spent all this money and I haven't actually been able to integrate it. And so I have been figuring out this thing I call the internal guidance system, which I got from Abraham Hicks, if you know who she is. And I took it on myself and then began developing it uh, on my own. And what I've discovered is that our stress in our lives is literally guidance. And I'm going to go into that a little bit more here because I really want people to understand what I mean by that. But the, the key here is, is that... I designed this game so that way you would actually have massive transformation in a short period of time and that when you go back into your normal life, well, first of all, you're doing it in your normal life, which is super cool. But then also when you end the game, you don't leave these behind. By the time you're done with the game, the information that I give you and the practices I give you are pretty well organized and integrated already. So you don't like come home and have to apply it 
the way I've designed it is you are applying it. And it takes a very short amount of time, five to seven minutes a day is, is the minimum that you need to put into it to get the results. So I know it sounds too good to be true, but trust me, we've had hundreds of people go through the game and, and people are having these results as long as they actually do the game on a daily basis for 12 days. And so what I'd love to talk about, and I'm going to have you pipe up here in a minute, Kara, about it, this, but when I, first of all, I wanted to find what I call, what I consider stress to be, okay? Stress is anytime you feel worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, irritation, frustration, anytime you're procrastinating, you feel guilty, uncertain, um, in general, just those are like, and there's more, of course, there's so many more that we could throw in there. But when I'm talking about stress, I'm talking about any time you feel any of those things. So that way we are all on the same page around stress and the definition of it. And what I've discovered is, is that our stress is actually inherited from our upbringing. So if your mother's stressed about something or your father's stressed about something, or if you're raised by a grandmother and there are people in your lives, if they felt anxiety over something, or let's say it was being late, or it was money, or people talking behind their backs, or keeping up the stress of keeping up with the neighbors, or all the cleaning of the house, whatever it is, we, we take it on and our brains as a little baby says, oh, those are the things to worry about. That's the place to have anxiety. This is the thing to be irritated about with another person when we witness it, and then we become that. So why is this important? Your stress is not coming from your external experience. It's not coming from how much you're trying to do or how behind you are or how little time you have or this person being a jerk or, you know, the different things that we have these experiences around. They're actually our interpretation of it. And when you play the game, you literally reprogram your mind away from the conditioned stress response you got when you were little. Okay, now I know that sounds crazy, but it's a lot easier than you think with the tools that I provide you. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Sarah? You were talking about FOMO and some That's of the stress. That's the first that you thing have. that was coming to mind. I was sitting here waiting. I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, FOMO. I'm going to talk about FOMO. Yeah, FOMO. So if you're not familiar with that acronym, it fear of missing out. So, I mean, do you, have you ever had fear of missing out in your life, FOMO, you know, you're building your business maybe, or, you know, you're, you're looking about, you know, I need to be doing that thing. I should be, I have to be, I need to show up in that way for that person, the way this person's doing it, like all of that. Like I need to be a part of that. I need to go. Um, I've had that a lot in my entrepreneurial business. I've even like encouraged other people to feel that way because I thought it was like going to help. It was going to help grow my business or something like that. And then now I look at, yeah, I want people to want to be a part of what I'm doing, but I don't want to make them feel yucky. I don't want them to make them feel that level of stress of like, of that FOMO word. It's a four, it, it add it to the list of four letter words right now that you don't want to use on a regular basis. And so what I started to learn instead, thanks to Zen and her lovely breadcrumb trail. It's more like, um, like a glitter trail or something like that. I don't know what to call it. Like, to, I like to, that. I like the glitter trail. I love that. Glitter trail. So I followed the glitter trail and it led me to this feeling of, okay, I don't have to be a part of everything. Everything on the list of possible things to be done in a day to build my business or to live my life as a good mom, as a good wife, as a good person, as a good woman, whatever, you know, those lists that we make up in our mind and in the categories ourselves in. Um, I don't have to do or be all of those things and I don't have to show up for each and every one of those items every single day. I get to discern, and I, I got a, one more word to throw out there, discern. Discernment was a huge part of this for me, of this 12-day program, using and, and tapping into that discernment and really like knowing, okay, is this for me to do? Is this for someone else to do? Is this something like that's for me today to, do, to be a part of my life, um, to be a part of this moment? And going from moment to moment, and I say this often because it's one of my absolute favorite quotes, but it comes from Dr. Martin Luther King. It's, you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take the next step. And for me, 
This helps me determine which next step is the right one for me in that moment. And so I almost like walk through life like now, like, no, no, yeah, this way, this way, you know, the beam is pointing in this direction. Let me follow that. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to go a little bit this way and I keep marching along. And then, you know, you start to open your mind and your heart to opportunity, to people. You're more present. Um, I'm willing to do yoga. I'm in, I'm so, <laughs> I am yes. because I don't have the FOMO that somehow I need to be attached to this thing and I'm gonna miss out on something if I'm not attached to this or I'm not on my laptop or I'm not present doing my business on every second of the day, I have I, just FOMO's gone. And um, it'll show up and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, time out. Let me check in and see what I, what, what's really gonna serve me and, and my team. and in my community um, the most right now in this moment. And it's not that. So it's really so that's, great. That, that is one of the benefits of the game that is that you, so basically, let me back up just a little bit because you now know what our definition of stress is and that, that you don't have to believe me that it, our stress is inherited, that the things that stress us out uniquely as us as individuals um, are, are something that doesn't necessarily stress someone else out. That's why, you know, the, the solutions that we have for stress, meditating, yoga, walking, counting, getting more sleep, getting more off our to-do list, all the different things that they recommend to release stress, breathing in a different, in a particular way, don't work for everyone and they don't work all the time. And that's why having more money doesn't stop your money stress. So, you know, I work with people that are, have millions and millions of dollars and I work with people who have no dollars <laughs> and in, and all in between. And what I found is, is that the same stress that they had at 18, they have at 35 when they have millions, it's still there because it's a program. So now that you know that what stress is and we've defined it, I also want to let you know how it feels in your body. So the way it shows up is it'll show up as a lump in the throat where you feel like you can't swallow and there's like something hard in there or a tightness in the chest that feels like you can't breathe or you're heavy and there's a pressure or a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach where you're, you've got this tight knot in your stomach as you're going through your life. These three areas are actually guidance. And what it means is that in the moment, your thinking is in a program, is in that inherited program. And the cool thing is, is the game, what I've done is I've created these practices that walk you through number one, being able to see the program and then number two, be able to change it. And when you change the program and it's super simple and it doesn't take a lot of time, this is not a complex thing. This is super quick, efficient, and easy to put into your life on a daily basis. What happens is over time, just what Kara was talking about, you can feel physically in your body where you need to put your time what you need to be focused on. You physically feel in your body as you go to do something that isn't the right timing or isn't something that you need to focus on doing today, there is a tightness that happens. And when you think about what it is that you need to do, there's an expansion that happens. And the game teaches you how to follow this. And what ends up happening is, is that you're more relaxed, you feel like you can breathe easier, you do not have the cortisol levels flowing through your body creating that belly fat because you're actually able to, what I call pivot in the moment, to this experience of releasing that. And you'll be able to physically feel before the end of the game, this constriction and releasing happening throughout your day and while you're doing the practices. And when that happens, you leave stress behind and stress no longer becomes this external thing that's, that's pushing you and ramming you and making you like crazy all the time and rushed and overwhelmed. Stress becomes something where it's like, oh, I feel that feeling, something's off, let me, let me do one of these practices and shift. And what happens is, is you drop in and you just feel happy, calm, collected, and relaxed. So an example for me was, I always thought that if somebody didn't call me back, they were mad at me. So I'd place a call to somebody, and if one or two days went by, well, it used to be an hour, but it got to a place where I could handle it for maybe a day, and then I'd start thinking about all the things I ever said to them. What could somebody else had said to them? Is there something, did I forget their birthday? What was the last email I sent? Am I not spending enough? I mean, it would just go crazy. You know, those conversations that happen in your head that won't end, you know, and it's like, God, stop thinking about this. And then three minutes later, your mind's like, yeah, but what about this? That distract you from all the joys in your life. 
that goes away. That was a programming. My mom thought that everybody was always mad at her. That was a program and I cured it. And so what happens is stress becomes this gift that's always attuning you into alignment of, of, of your life and you become joyous and happy, you know, and that's what Kara is talking about. Kara, do you want to, do you want to share a little more? Yeah, definitely. So just like she said, when she talked about, you know, reaching out to someone and them not getting back to you, I know <laughs> that you've experienced that before. And I have too. There are, there are several things that, you know, just float around in my mind. Oh, like when you're saying it, I was just thinking about someone that I texted yesterday to get together with them to set up this coffee date. And in my head, I'm like, when she didn't respond all day, I was like, Oh no, maybe I said the wrong thing. Or maybe she changed her mind because I didn't respond fast enough the last time she reached out to me and blah, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait a minute, that is not the case. And so I was like, I felt using your skills and your tools that you've given me, I've, I used them, applied them right there on that second. And what I decided was the next course of action was to just go ahead and reach out again. And she responded with, and it was with a different phrase. You know, I said something different, of course. And she reached back out. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot I meant to respond to you earlier. But this crazy stuff was going on for the last six hours and the, or 12 hours, whatever it was. And I'm like, I know better. I know better. And I'm glad I trusted my instincts. I trusted and you applied your, your tools and did what I knew I should do and what was right. I, I had, I'll give you one more quick example of how this really served me with all of this, this just reprogramming of the way that I respond to different things with most of those programs of insecurity that I, that I had and that I'm deleting. Um, yep. but I had people over my house. I invited them over for an, like a little social event at my home. And this one woman shows up and she's early. And then the uh, at least four or five other women are going to come too. And so she and I start talking and she has some things that I'm like, you know, in my head, like, you know, I just, I kind of wish everyone else would cancel because I really just need to talk to you. That's the thought that went through my mind. And I was like, Ugh. I'm like, yeah, but then what does that mean if nobody else comes? I don't really want that to happen. And then what ends up happening? We're sitting down there talking, everybody else cancels and she witnesses it. But you know what? I looked at her as they're, I'm like, well, looks like this is just you and I it's just going to be a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one here today. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, you know what? No, this is exactly what's supposed to happen right now. And in my head, I'm like, and I even asked for it about 20 minutes ago, but you didn't know that. And I just felt so good in that moment, just knowing that that whole situation was like divine purchase order approved. I mean, that was exactly yes. what was supposed to happen. And what unfolded from there was just absolutely beautiful. Um, and, and just more than I could have even like projected to happen. So it was good. That is so cool. I love that. Yeah. I mean, well, that's the thing we talk about in the game is flow, which I think of is mm -hmm. feeling light, open and wise as the, is this acronym, but really it's about being in the zone Mm -hmm. You know, the zone that athletes get into or people who are writing or in a creative pursuit painting or, and we all get in the zone. Like for instance, have you ever cleaned your house and you're like, go, you just go through and it's like, you're picking this up and moving this and doing that and puffing here and doing, and it's just like you, at the end of the day, you get done and you can't believe how much you got done, but it felt effortless. It's like yeah. massive productivity, but effortless. That is what being in the flow is. And what I found is, is that when you're following your internal guidance system, right? Flow is your natural state of being. And so the key is, is that I, I really can't explain what you're going to get out of the game because it's so different than the way we normally live nowadays. Mm -hmm. And it's so powerful and there's so much to it that even if I told you everything you're going to get out of the game, you wouldn't believe, be able to believe me because it seems like it's not even possible in 12 days. And it's not possible that it only takes seven minutes a day. And it's not possible that it's super easy to do and that everyone can do it. It's just this extraordinary thing. But what I can say is that by the end of the game, all of that happens. You know, can you share, I mean, honestly, Kara, can you share the magnitude of, of gifts and things that change at the, by the end of the game and have people really, do you feel like you can have them believe 
<laughs> the experience? No, no, not at all, but I just got chills. I just got chills even just like reliving some of those moments that happened during the game. Um, I think, ah, uh, chills again, just thinking about it. But I think like the thing that was really cool going through the process, never mind the end, but through the process is when we're on those those opportunities that you offer us on, on a daily basis on the game to get on a live call with you, those opportunities, um, if you choose to join in on them, is in, are incredibly transformational. I witnessed some amazing connections. You're just, even if you don't participate and you just lurk and listen in on what other people are talking about, if you know they're willing to share or ask a question, and you hear, you know, like what someone's going through and you're able to apply it somehow. It's like what you need to hear because that's just what happens. When you show up, you get the nuggets that you need, even if you don't ask the question. And I, I just saw, you know, other people like crying, you know, just being so moved by some of the transformations that happen in people's lives, especially when you get to know each other or maybe you come in knowing each other and you walk through it together arm in arm and you're really doing it together. The conversations, I mean, we would be on some of those coaching calls and I'm on the side and we're texting, like a few of us are texting together like, oh my gosh, did you hear what she just said? That, that right there, that thing, that's it. That's what yeah. we did. And it, and it just moves you so much. Um, so the whole process and then what comes out of it at the end is just, um, like you said, more more than you really can put succinctly into words. It's just that feeling, and I'm sure we're kind of radiating that feeling right now, and people <laughs> it yeah. and kind of understand it. But it, yeah, it's just it's just completely worth it. So I want to invite people to come and join the game. It's called the Recreating You Game, and you can click on the link that's in 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 the in in this video below in the text below. You can click on the link and join the game. It starts on September 15th, and what happens is, is you get a couple intro videos, and then the next morning on Monday, you'll get a short video that you watch, and it gives you a play of the day. And then we're available, my coaches and mentors and I, we're available in the members area as you're doing the plays. You do one play a day. There is a different play each day, which gives you a, another piece of this puzzle that will walk you through transforming the way your mind works in relationship with the world around you. And we're here to answer questions, and there's some live Zoom calls if you're struggling that you can get on, and we record those. You don't have to show, really, you don't have to show up for anything except watch the video in the morning and do the practice of the day. That's really it. And then there's all kinds of other ways for you to contribute if you want to and play, but we have people who just do the videos and they never show up. I never see them at all, who write me letters afterwards that are like, my whole life has changed and I don't even know who they are because they weren't active participants. And then we have people that are like there all day long, every day, you know, answering questions. It's totally private and secure in a Facebook group. And the game goes for 12 days. We take the Sunday in the middle off. It goes for 12 days. And by the end of the 12 day, your life is different. And we work on procrastination. We work on productivity, dropping, how to drop into flow. I give you the way to drop into flow at any moment. Irritation. We deal with some manifestation techniques where you can feel in your body how to manifest. We deal with frustration, guilt, mommy guilt, and other types of guilt. All of this is organized and handled in the game. And the game itself is only $47 to play. So there really isn't anything that would inhibit you from jumping in and doing it. So I would like to encourage you to sign up on the link before and below. We only take a certain number of players because we give personal uh, attention to every single person. We answer every comment that's posted and any question or any celebration, we make sure that we all get back to you. And so we, can, we can't handle thousands of people. We can only handle a certain number. And so my recommendation is to go ahead and sign up, is to sign up and take the plunge. I promise there's nothing like this. There's nothing like this. We can't even truly explain it. You will notice that it's not like any, you might have inklings of it in different areas of your life, but this is the how to. Mm -hmm. This is a physical, this isn't like you can or you should be better or you should change your thinking or you should be more, if anything. This is like, here is exactly what you need to do to have the transformation to be more productive, happier, easygoing. Oh, the relationships, the shift in people's marriages and relationships with their kids by the end of the 12 days 
is actually a miracle. In fact, part of what we teach in the game is that miracles and synchronicity are the norm when you know how to step into flow. Absolutely. And the miracles that happen in people's relationships, in their ability to promote their business and reach out to people, the, 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 that scridgy, tight feeling, lump in the throat, sick feeling in the chest when you want to go make a call to invite somebody to be a part of your business, that is guidance. That's the guidance I'm talking about. And we'll show you what to do with it so that you can open up and know whether to make that call or not with confidence and, and, and really in a place of joy. Like it's not going to be hard anymore. All right. So, Kara, do you want to mention anything else? No, I, you nailed it with all of it. I'm just really, really excited. And I want to emphasize the last part there that you said about the relationship piece. I mean, if there's any relationship that you have right now that's difficult in your life, and I'm pretty sure everyone just raised their hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there is a massive nugget that comes during this 12 days that is it's just transformational for that relationship and it's it's good it's good stuff i'll tell you zen you have something really powerful and and just absolutely priceless um sitting there that you that you created for everybody to just take that glitter trail to this better this better way to live your life on a daily basis and really understand what's going on and and why things are are there and they're happening for you not to you and you can just really um, make this work for yourself and really make your life pretty magical once you get it, once you really understand what's going on here. Um, so I, I'm excited. Again, like I said, I'm, I've got the link in here for you. And uh, just go ahead and get started with us. I'm so excited to see you in the next game. And we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks so for having me. This has been tons of fun. Bye, Kara. Bye.